it's very important for you as a single person not to marry someone Jesus Christ called you to reach it's along the line of what I'm just saying God loves everyone and so should you God wants you to be friends with everyone go play football hockey golf watch a movie invite them to church be friends with them but when you are a single person Jesus Christ tells you they are your mission field they are your field to love but not the field for marriage options why and you're going to hear just in a moment it's not that God is saying well I'm God and you have to get used to it what do what I say it's not that God is saying well I just hate all the people who are not believers in me I just want to punish them it's not that God is looking at all the non-believers and saying they're such a horrible people and all the Christians such a good people and we'll know, well no that's not truth it's that God is looking at your life and he's saying it's unfair if you end up with someone whose belief system is different and not belief system only but whose value system is different than yours it's not fair for them it's not fair for you and it's not fair for no one else so God says they are the people you are to love you are to bless you are to be patient with they are the people you should learn from invite them to church they are the people that you should seek to be friends with and be as nice as you can when it comes to your marriage you can't be fishing in that kind of pool why because you are not being fair to them and you're not being fair to you amen I know some people will say well this is love Vlad God is love and I love this person so this must be from God it's true God is love love is not God just because it's love it does not mean it's God and many times what starts love ends up abuse what started as so lovey-dovey Facebook posts and snapchats and everything and then you get a restraining order the Bible says love never ends how come that ended in two weeks it wasn't real love honey it was lust he gave his life to Jesus and then she gave her life to Jesus and look and everything worked out and this is what I'm going to do I am a home group leader I'm gonna bring her I'm gonna fall in love I'm gonna get married and then she will see how righteous holy dignified and magnified anointed justified regenerated I am and she will be drawn by the goodness and the love and the mercy of God and all the abuse the fact she had no father all of that is gonna be washed by my love and she will change you will see she will get saved because this happened to him her and them the problem with that my friend is that just because it happened to them that does not mean that you should disobey what God tells you to do and rely on someone's testimony instead of God's word well my brother 15 years ago fell from a second story building head down into a concrete blood came out of everywhere he survived actually his head is so wonderful it produces long hair that does not mean you all and I should be looking at his testimony and say man how, be, how wonderful would that be to get a long dreadlocks by going and jumping from a second story building head down into a concrete nobody thinks like that yet when it comes to relationships which is more dangerous than even falling from a second story building is people jump from a third story building relationally destroy their whole life not knowing behind all of that is the devil seeking to destroy your life ask Samson and Samson will tell you anointing power all of that was great not once the enemy was able to overcome him fists but the enemy overcame him by presenting a woman that Samson should have reached out to not married Samson should have talked to about Jesus not dated but see Samson thought well I am anointed she's gonna change and it's interesting none of them changed the only thing is they changed Samson chained Samson blinded Samson and ruined his life it wasn't them that did that please it's not the non-Christians that are bad it's that we when we are disobedient my friends we get ourselves in the trouble if you want to be away from the devil's trap as a young person single person avoid relationships that are not with people who of your, your values and of your belief system I know that we have visitors with us tonight and maybe some of you visitors who, who do not share the same faith as Christians and I respect that but I'm going to give you a word of advice please do not date real and genuine Christians because 
they got a secret agenda they're gonna date you and privately pray for you <laughs> and hope you'll come to their church and the whole thing is gonna be for love for you for them you're just a project you heard how they talk about you get you to hear so I'm just gonna blow the whole balloon out of the way they're not really in love they're gonna try to get you saved and until you're saved they're not gonna be safe do yourself a favor stay away from them as far as possible 